Sony cuts PlayStation 5 sales by millions of units. PlayStation will launch more than 10 live service games by 2026. And this Friday, we're dropping a new show on IGN's Twitch and YouTube channels called Nars' Office Hours. Hey, that's me. This is your Daily Fix. It looks like Sony is expecting to sell fewer PlayStation 5 units due to ongoing component shortages as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Sony had planned to sell more than 14.8 million PlayStation 5s by March 2022, but the company reportedly won't be hitting that number, which would have seen it exceed the PlayStation 4 sales on its second release year. Now Sony is aiming for 11.5 million PlayStation 5 sales for the year. According to an earnings call, CFO Hiroki Totoki explains that due to limitations to supply of components, more specifically semiconductors, and an increase in delivery times resulting from disruptions of the global distribution supply chain, PlayStation Sony has had to revise its sale forecast for the PlayStation 5 hardware. Totoki also added that the limitations on supply were expected to continue moving forward, and Sony would do everything possible to meet the demand for more PlayStation 5s. Totoki hopes to be able to catch up from these shortages and is working closely with suppliers to make that happen. Despite the shortages, PlayStation 5 has still been a major success, with Sony reporting the console sold 17.3 million units as of December 3rd, 2021. Speaking of the future of Sony, PlayStation is planning to shift away from first-party games to release more than 10 live service games by March 2026 with the help of their recent acquisition of Bungie. During Sony's latest earnings call, CFO Hiroki Totoki stated that the collaboration with Bungie and PlayStation Studios has set in motion plans to release live service games that are updated with new content over time, using in-game purchases rather than initial sales. Bungie's investment in its live service game, Destiny in 2014, has allowed it to accumulate a wealth of expertise and technologies that can be considered a major asset to Sony. Bungie is also currently developing a major new IP that Sony now tends to utilize and develop to expand into the live game service market. This is not to say that Sony will abandon single player narrative experiences, but it's more likely live service games will become a major part of the company's output. In addition to live services, PlayStation is looking to extend its presence across non-PlayStation platforms after the recent success of God of War on PC. Given Bungie's work in the multi-platform space, Sony PlayStation has a lot to gain from the purchase. And finally, this Friday is our first live stream of Nars' Office Hours, live on IGN's Twitch and YouTube channels. Since it's my first live stream, I'll be telling you a bit more about myself while answering your questions. So check it out Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Nars' Office Hours will be a repeating segment where we get to hang out and play games, but it'll also have special guest appearances, events, and so much more. It's the beginning of a bright future, and let's make it brighter together. Let me know in the comments questions you'd like me to answer live, games you'd like me to play in the future, and who do you think would make a great guest for future live streams? Let me know. And that was your Games Fix for today, February 2nd. Download the IGN app on all your devices, follow the Daily Fix on Snapchat, and for everything else, head on over to IGN.com. I'm Nars, and remember to always stay fabulous.